Ah, uh, jeez. Don't worry, good people. Got this under control. Just need a sec. Yo, peeps, listen to this. Like this. Oh, come on, you love it. They'll all be killed if I don't figure out how to defeat the dragon. I don't have time for you right now. Ugh, why are you being such a bummer? Could you just get out of my face for five seconds, you jerk? If you didn't want me here, then why did you ask me? I didn't! They called for me and you tagged along. Go home. I honestly can't focus with you here acting like monster trash. Well, as long as we're being really honest. I'm so glad that I woke up. I'm sick of living under your thumb. I'm so glad that I woke up. I don't really care about your stupid candy kingdom. I don't really care about your stupid candy kingdom. You think that you're so clever. Why are you scared of looking so dumb? I don't really think you fit to rule your candy kingdom. We were getting closer. You should know that I am so dumb. And all the rest in PBM, so over it. I'm so glad that I woke up. I'm sick of living under your thumb. I'm so glad that I woke up. I don't really care about your stupid candy kingdom. I'm so glad that I woke up. I'm sick of living under your thumb. I'm so glad that I woke up. I don't really care about your stupid candy kingdom. Marceline, you won! Seriously? <sighs> Fine, we're done. Hey, hey, Marceline. Got a favor to ask, babe. We want to make Princess Bubblegum jealous, so she'll go to the movies with Finn. Marceline? Come in. Hello? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Are you going to help us? Yeah, I'll help. It'll be funny. Okay. So here's the plan. You start saying things, and you start laughing way loud. And then Bubblegum will get jealous of you, which will awaken her fin love. You start us off. Um, hmm, funny. Giddy up? <laughs> um, diggy diggy? <laughs> diggy diggy, diggy diggy. <laughs> Greetings, Finn. Hey, Marceline. Hello, Bonnabelle. Yeah, yeah. So, what's so funny, Finn? I, um, uh, it's uh, something. Well, then keep it down out there. I'm trying to whistle practice. If you really want Bubblegum to go to the movies with you, you've got to, like, Stop listening to your dog and take some advice from a real girl. Yeah. If you can show Bubblegum that you're fun, she'll defs want to go to the movies with you. The only thing women love more than fun is excitement. She needs to feel her blood pump, man. She needs to be chased by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Finn, thank goodness you're here. There's wolves in my room. Yeah, I know. I put them there. Pretty exciting, right? <laughs> I guess she just doesn't like me. Shh. Come on, Finn. A brain lord like Bonnie? You'd be bored with her in a week. And anyway, I, for one, think you're pretty great. Sorry it didn't work out like you wanted. We'll see you later, I guess. <laughs> La -da, da 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 I'm gonna bury you in the ground. La da 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 I'm gonna bury you with my sound. I'm gonna drink the red. From your pretty pink face, I'm gonna... Marceline, that's too distasteful! Oh, you don't like that? Or do you just not like me? Sorry I don't treat you like a goddess, is that what you want me to do? Sorry I don't treat you like you're perfect, like all your little loyal subjects do. Sorry I'm not made of sugar, am I not sweet enough for you? Is that why you always avoid me? That must be such an inconvenience to you Well, I'm 
Guess you can't judge me anymore. I never said you had to be perfect! <gasps> princess! Princess, wait! Marceline, here's your rock shirt. Hey, that's not... It's mine! That's mine. You kept the shirt I gave you? Yeah. It, uh, means a lot to me. But you never wore it. Dude, I wear it all the time! as pajamas. Yo, Bubblegum! Marceline, you're up late. No time for chit-chat. Let's hang out, right now. Hmm, I don't know. Listen, Bubbubs, I tracked down Maja the Sky Witch. Oh, what? Yeah, I tailed her to an enchanted forest, but it's all jammed up with barrier spells. Oh, I think I see where this is going. Well, you love getting out your big brain, and and I just thought it'd be cool to spend some quality time with you. I need your help, okay? Whoa, okay, but... Come on, I got your pack pack. Um, sure, but... Hold on to that butt, PB. Uh, whee! <laughs> That's seriously what this is about? Rescuing your old teddy bear? Yeah, sorry I didn't tell you. You might not have come otherwise. Um, yeah. Raggedy Princess can make you a new hambo in like three seconds. Or Raggedy Princess can be your new hambo. She'd do it too. That girl's got like zero self-respect. <laughs> That's mean. Don't tell her I said that. I'm not getting a new hambo. There's only one hambo. Marceline! Yoink! Hambo! Oh, it's me, buddy. <sighs> How did you... I took care of it. Let's bust out! Slow dance with you I just want to slow dance with you I know all the other boys are tough and smooth And I got the blues I want to slow dance with you I want to slow dance with you I just want to slow with you why don't you take the chance i've got the moves i'd like to prove i wanna slow dance with you knock knock yo peebs you want to make a midnight squeezy mart run i'm gonna drink the red from out the customer's bloodshot eyes <laughs> psych i'll probably just get a slushy bubblegum Bonnebel! What? Oh, what are you doing here? Be not afraid, child. It is I, the one true princess of Oo. You're the princess? Since when? Well, by the reckoning of my new Torontian calendar, Oo's official calendar, uh, two glorious months. Two months? But, but then why didn't she t Ugh, bubblegum. Huh? Marceline? What up? Ugh. Why didn't you tell me you got thrown jacked? I gotta hear it from that wax fraud. I should have told you. I was just... <sighs> embarrassed. And it all happened so fast. I'm still trying to sort things out. See things rationally. Huh. Well, you could have talked to me about it. This looks like a delivery tunnel from the old rock candy mines. 
Huh, we haven't been down here in hundreds of years. Remember when I'd get you out of those stinky Cheese Kingdom trade meetings and we'd sneak down here and spray paint the walls? Um, I am pretty sure it was me who found you vandalizing my property. <laughs> yeah, but I got you to tag something, didn't I? I bet I could find it. Whoa, the broken bridge! Remember, you jumped across this. You were so scared. Mm, I think I was just trying to prove something. Bonnabelle Bubblegum, always so prepared. Yeah, I have to be always so prepared. We can't all just wing it. I didn't have to always worry about so many things, you know? The Candy Kingdom used to be so small, so manageable. Then it kept growing and growing, and there was always some new disaster to prepare against. Is that why you stopped talking to me? No, I... Maybe we can find something useful around... Oh! Your tag! We actually found it. Man, your handwriting hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Still as prissy and prim as... What? Hey, 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 whoa, wait. I didn't mean... I like your handwriting. I think it's really pretty. It's... it's not that. I lost my hat, lost my home, lost my people. I can't even keep darn varmints out of my pumpkin patch. Oh, Bonnie. I just, I thought that if I shut everything out and just focused on work, it would all be okay. And look where that landed me. All I managed to do was push everyone away. I pushed you away. I'm sorry, Marceline. I've been a real dinger to you. Come on, what are you even apologizing for? Uh, how about we not get buried under a metric ton of rock candy rubble? Thanks. Boing. I'm crazy tired, Marceline. I think I have been for a long time. Don't let me sleep too long. Promise to wake me up in 15 minutes. I promise. I want you to do the procedure. The one we talked about. I'm sorry, but I don't think you'd make a good blonde. No, not that. I don't want to be a vampire anymore. This means someday you'll die. You know that, right? Ooh. I guess that'll be my last adventure. Marceline, I'm so very, very, very excited to test my new lab out on you. Well, don't get all sentimental on me. You know I care about you. I think you're making the right choice. Your natural lifespan is going to be richer and fuller than you can imagine. And someday, when you die, I'll be the one who puts you in the ground. It's spring again, and the yard is full of tiny flowers. You used to call them weeds, and you killed them all. But they were growing too tall. What? I can't hear you! I said, wake up, Marceline. What? Wake up! Huh? You! Marceline! <laughs> oh! In your face! Marcy, now! I dreamed about you while I was in my poison coma. I was all old and withered, and you were still nice and pink. You think I'm nice? Y'all brains, I lost count. That's okay. I'm done with bat jacks. 
Uh, I have this weird feeling in my tums. Because you're scared of the Vampire King? No, it's not fear. I know what that feels like. So maybe it's love? So once I usurp Crunchy, I'll have my castle back again. And there's plenty of room there if you don't want to be alone. No. I think I need to ruminate a little. Think about being a vampire again. Being mortal was good. At the same time, it was terrifying. Now I'm a vampire with fresh mortal memories and, I don't know, more empathy or something? More grown up. Bonnie, thank you for helping me grow up. Now I guess we get to hang out together forever. I guess you can crash here. Great! Thanks for inviting me. That is not what's happening. What? what? Marceline? <laughs> no, it's Marshmaline, the campfire queen. Marshy? Where's PB? Good tidings to you, my friends. Underneath the mountain, overlook the sea, I find my sweet friends waiting and bring them close to me. La da da da. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. It's not like I have a lot of free time, you know. Peebs, you work too much. Imagine a pizza. Only half should be business. The rest should be personal. Personal pizza. Yuck. Try to have fun tonight. With the Ice King? Not in your everlasting lifetime, girlfriend. I wish you'd call him Simon. He's actually kind of sweet and funny. Hey, Marcy. Last time, I was so caught up in making things right with Betty that you got left out. I'm sorry. It's okay. I get it. So, you got a boyfriend yet? Huh? No. No, 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 no! No! Bonnie! <laughs> has an emergency f You scared me. What? Even back when we weren't talking, I was so afraid something bad would happen to you and I wouldn't be there to protect you and... I don't want to lose you again. Hey, I'm a tough gum. Nothing never happening to me. Never. I know, I'm... Girl, you phrased that so weird. I might have a concussion. <laughs> How's the song coming along? It's pretty whatever. I don't know. I rarely see you this focused. Thanks, peeps. Wait, was that a diss? No, no. It's admirable. You're so in the zone. <laughs> I guess I have been going for a new sound this time. I really want to get it right. Can I hear it? Uh, all right. Okay, nope, no, it's not done yet. Hey, it's all right. I can't wait to hear it when it's ready. I guess you've still got it. 
Listen, Bonnie, you know all that stuff I said. Oh, I get it now. That song's about her, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's not even subtle. <laughs> since that song worked. Mind if I try? What? Scree! The Mara was following us with that the whole time? Peeps, were you expecting me to fail? We never did figure out why your song worked in the first place. My next-gen barrier will buy me time to figure out Larvo's true weakness. Yeah! I got this, I got this, I got this. No, it has to be me. I'll write a new, angrier song. The other day, you used my brush. It was okay, I didn't mind. Ugh. I'm just not that angry young punk anymore. It's like I don't even remember what it's like to be hurt and sad. Mm -hmm. No, it's still in me somewhere. I just have to go find it. Go? I have to go back. Back to the place where I was hurt the most. Marcy, this is a bad idea! <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Huh? We're here to reconnect with your punk rock anger. Nah, I need to be with Bubblegum. She's good for me. It's not her fault I've got baggage. No! Someone turned my force field on full blast! Why did I even create a full blast setting? Live and learn. Hmm. This is pretty bad, huh? Yeah, pretty bad. Probably should have tried singing anyway. I was sorta of hoping your song wouldn't work. So I could finally show the Glass Kingdom how much of a scientific genius I am. Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm so sorry I left you alone on this. It's just being back here where all this bad stuff happened. <sighs> My mom and I didn't talk about bad stuff. When she got really sick, she didn't even tell me. She meant well, but I think it messed me up about being honest about my feelings. You and me are in a good place now. Well, not right now, obviously. <laughs> you know, if this really is the end, I have something I want to sing to you. And I'm scared, cause that means I'm a little bit soft But don't beat yourself up on me It wasn't just the sun that I was hiding from We were messed up kids who taught ourselves how to live And I'm still scared that I'm not good enough I've always felt like a monster Soft. You're the 
pink in my cheeks and I love that it means I'm a little bit soft. Oh! More silly Coco! Got a mushy center, just like me. Yeah, we can totally kill it now. Peeves, no. I must look a real mess. Nah, you always look great after fighting a monster. You think so? <laughs> this is nice. We never get to dance. You're always the one performing. I have a lot more songs I want to sing. Real sappy ones. Good. I've always loved your songs. <laughs> <laughs> 